So today is National Wine and Cheese Day, and we're learning more about this beloved combo at one of the most popular cheese spots in town. Tierra Nubam is live at Antonelli's Cheese Shop. Good morning, Tierra. Uh, you've got a, you always have great assignments. This one is probably the best <laughs> so far. Good morning, Amanda. I have the best job and I am thrilled. I'm giddy to be at Antonelli's Cheese Shop this morning. So National Wine and Cheese Day. We're celebrating this morning and there are so many cheeses, so many wines out there. Kendall, what are your tips and tricks to pairing the best cheeses with the best wines? Okay, first of all, when you're pairing wine and cheese, don't overthink it. This does right. not need to be a pinkies up, bougie scenario. <laughs> it's just, do you enjoy the cheese and do you enjoy the wine? I have had people sometimes say, I don't like this wine. Well, this make me like it better if I pair it? Maybe, but life is too short. Step one, do you enjoy the cheese and do you enjoy the wine? Two, you're often marrying the weight, so something light with something light or something heavier with something heavier. Um, but John is going to take us through a couple pairings today. We're always looking when we pair for contrasting or complementary flavors that work well. So for instance, acid with acid, a nice acidic goat's milk cheese with a white wine from the Loire Valley. Or when we look at contrasting flour flavors, something sweet with something salty. Um, and then always, all day long, anytime, Bubbles are your best friend, so any okay. kind of bubbles will go with cheese, and that's whether you drink wine or not. This actually works for Italian sodas, sparkling waters, um, any of that, but bubbles are great with cheese, and that's because cheese is heavy and fatty and palate coating, and those bubbles, that effervescence just picks it up off your palate, does the work of aerating it and creating flavor for you. Flavor is what happens not only on your tongue, but also in your nose. Um, so really, it's all about aroma, and then cleansing your palate and getting ready to go back for the next. Bubbles work with oh, cheese. Yes. Okay, Good. so I feel like we're always talking about wine and cheese, but champagne, yeah, so Prosecco. Exactly. Champagne, Prosecco, Cava. Um, there's quite a few options that you can choose from with for bubbles. Um, and as a cheesemonger, one of my all-time favorite things is pairing wine with cheese. And so you can come into the store and we can talk you through some ideas, find some things that you really love. Um, and today we've got three pairings for you that we've put together. Okay. Uh, this cheese here, uh, our first that we'll taste is Sophia. Uh, this is a cheese from Capriole in Indiana. It's goat's milk with this beautiful geotrichum mm -hmm. brainy rind in there. You can see it. Uh, this is our kid's favorite cheese, extra wow. a little bit salty, um, which is really It is beautiful. a little salty. I love that. Yeah, and, uh, and having fun playing with jams like a, a Cabernet, cherry Cabernet here. Yes, we have jams that have wine in them. So yes. cherry Cabernet. Um, that goes really well, marrying that sweet with mm -hmm. that salt. It's wow. really fun. And so that we would pair with, say, one of those sparkling wines. So okay. this is from, um, this is Graham Beck. This is an amazing producer, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay grape. Okay, and then Second which cheese, ones do we have next? This is Tom Creuse. This is a, a French cheese uh, from Schmidhauser. Mm -hmm. um, it's an amazing um, aged natural rinded cheese. You can see here this beautiful sort of earthy rind, buttery. I love the texture. Um, and what we would pair with that is a white wine, likely, something like this Archine. This comes from McMinnville in Oregon. Um, it's a pretty amazing story, so come in and learn about it. Um, uh, the folks that make this cheese are spectacular. Um, so that buttery texture with the buttery wine. And is now we've done goat and cow, and let's try sheep because each one sheep. of those has its own flavor profile. I love sheep's cheese. So okay, what is our final so little pairing our here? 1605 Manchego uh, from Spain, classic, but it's now it's a woman-owned business, a na another natural rinded cheese, so it's really um, beautiful. And we paired this with a Texas product. This is the Beau, uh, Beaujolais. Uh, inspired yeah. um, carbonic Sangiovese. So it's a, a really special wine. Randy Hester does incredible stuff here in, in the state. Um, and so we love partnering with him. And again, that sheep's milk is fattier, so it can stand up to a red um, a red wine, uh, really. Yeah, nice. we've got a big, bold red. Sheep's milk cheese is the way to go. Sheep's milk cheese with the big, bold red, but bubbles are always a good game plan. Yeah. Hanging out with some of the best in the biz this morning, Amanda. What a fun job. No other place we'd be spending National Wine and Cheese Woo. Day. So. All of those bites were fantastic, but really, uh, I was sampling cheese between uh, the last segment and now all morning, so, uh, so every fun. single bite in here is delicious. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us this morning on Good Day Austin, and uh, we'll send it back yeah. to you, Amanda. We're going to head Coming over to a... free cheese this week. Oh, and it's free cheese week. Yes, yeah. let's yeah. tell people about it really quick. Uh, this is the cheese of the day. Yes, yeah, so the first 50 customers each day this week through Friday get a free cheese, and it's not just 
complimentary samplings all year long. This is actually, you're gonna get take home a chunk of cheese. So we have a different featured cheese each day. We open at 11 and this is just a summer sale. It's not even sell, it's just a summer giveaway to have some fun. We were joking, gas is our pride, the cheese is, gases, prices are high, the cheese is free. Come on in and play and celebrate with us. Love that, Amanda, we'll check back in in just a bit. Oh, so good, so good. Looks <laughs> amazing, thank you, Tierra.